some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today's video takes us to Arlington, Texas, with a softard who was pulled over for no registration and for speeding. And he ends up getting a really no-nonsense officer who doesn't take any of his soft, hard nonsense. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and watch this sovereign citizen go, uh, well, right down the rabbit hole of insanity. How you doing today, sir? Uh, can I get your name and your badge number, sir? Yeah, my name's, I'm Officer Hill with Oregon Police Department. I need to see driver's license insurance, please. Uh... I need to see your driver's license and insurance. Let's not play any games. You do have to have some identification on you. Okay, uh, which identification are you asking for? Driver's license, Texas driver's license, out-of-state driver's license. Is there... Insurance on the car. Yes, right. sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there, is there any... Throw your window down. Oh, uh, okay. Throw your window down. So I can, I can hear you just fine, sir. Okay, good. I need to see your driver's license and insurance. Can I uh, have I any proof? Told you. I I just want to be you nice. I'm, I'm calling. Your registration been expired, and you were also when I got turned around to get behind you, you were got up to 50 miles an hour. That's a lie, sir. Is it really a wise idea to call an officer a liar on the side of the road? I mean, if you uh, want to antagonize the situation, sure. But if you really want to uh, prove that he's a liar, meet him in court. And take care of business there, not here. Well, it might be a lie in your eyes, but it's not in my No, I, I saw, I, I was watching. I was watching the whole time, sir. I need to see your driver's license and And is there any proof that you have that I'm actually driving? Well, if you are sitting in the driver's seat of that vehicle and you don't have a autopilot on there that it can be programmed to uh, navigate through traffic, then uh, I guess you are driving that vehicle because otherwise it wouldn't have gotten there by itself. Yeah. In, 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 in which way, sir? I'm, I'm traveling, sir. I have a sovereign We're right to travel. To you have the right to travel all you want, but the mode of conveyance can be... Uh, well, regulated by the state, by the Tenth Amendment, giving Texas and all the other states the right to create those laws. And under Texas Transportation Code 502-040, it is required that every Texas citizen within 30 days register their vehicle. And if you are a Texas citizen, then you are required to do so. No ifs, ands, or buts about it, because driving is a privilege, not a right. You can travel all you want, but if you don't follow the state's laws, you can go find some other way to travel around. A little game, okay? I have a sovereign right. Up. I have a sovereign right to travel, sir. Put your sir. camera up. No, sir. This is a this is a First Amendment right. Okay. Put your camera up. This is a First Amendment right, sir. Okay, that's fine. Let me see. Can I get your name? Picture. Your first name, sir. My, I am H.R. Hill. That's all I'm required to tell you. May I give you your first name, sir? No, sir, you may not. Uh, you may not have mine, sir. Well, I just need to see your driver's license and insurance. I'm not a driver, sir. I'm a traveler. Well, if you keep this up, then uh, you'll be traveling straight to jail where you can argue with all the other uh, softards on... Uh, which color of uh, Crayola that you are having for dinner that night with the uh, side order of paint thinner to wash it all down with, of course. Sir, sir, that's illegal. No, it's not. Is you there have a... to get out of the truck then. Do I or have you a... You make the decision what you want to do, okay? You're one of these uh, anarchists or whatever. I'm not an anarchist, sir. I'm a peaceful man. Okay. Very you peaceful. See your license and insurance. What year is your truck? I don't answer questions, sir. Okay, I need to see your driver's license. I need to see your. I don't have a. I don't, okay, you, you I, have I don't, an ID don't, on you? I don't answer questions, sir. 2001. Well, they tell you this, you refuse to identify, you probably you may end up having to go to jail. So if you want to go to jail and get your truck towed. Now, under duress, I can show you my identification. I need to see your identification. But, sir, I'm, I'm, but sir I, I would just like to make it clear. Uh, and there's no duress here at all. Okay, I would like to make it clear that I'm not a, I'm not a driver. Do you, do you understand that? I'm not a driver, I'm a traveler. 
you know, you might as well go ahead and save those crayons because uh, that word salad of yours is not going to be helped out by the extra uh, waxy texture in it, you know. So uh, just keep it to yourself. Do you understand that, sir? With all due respect. With all due respect, sir. It's okay, I need to see your identification. May I have your first name, sir? No, you may not. Sir, I'll, I've I, already told you my name. It's HR. I need your first name, sir. You're not getting it. You see, I don't give my personal information to strangers, and I'm not sure if you're actually a, a police officer or not, or impersonating a police officer, so I need proof. Mm -hmm. you, you show me your proof, and I'll show you my proof. I need your proof first. No, you're getting me your Sir, first. do you work you for me? Will get, no, I do not. So, who do you no, work I do for? Not. Who do you I work, work for? I work for the city of Arlington. And were you sworn by oath to uphold the Constitution? I was. So, do you understand the Fourth Amendment right to right be secured in my ID. paper? Right there, sir. Oh, that's sir, it. Sir, that's I need this for get. court. See, no. I need this for court so that you're not. You will have it. You're not. We're we're not uh, falsely accusing each other. This has to be the proof of an eyewitness. With all due respect, sir, Mr. Uh, Officer Hill. And the First Amendment right, I do have a right to um, travel, which is uh, the the. The right to pursuit of happiness. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and the laws of God entitled them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the cause which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their Creator with certain unalienable rights. Among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That is not in the Constitution, dude. That is in the Declaration of Independence, which was a document created to be sent to King George the third to let him know that the 13 colonies were officially seceding from the British Empire. So dude, get a clue, get an education, and get things right, because clearly you are a moron. Which is driving to work and back from A to B. And I was not breaking you, any you law, sir. Quiet. You broke in the law by not having your truck bridge. Sir, I did not break the law. CSC. And That's breaking the law. That's I'm not. I'm, what contract am I under, sir? State of Texas. No, I'd like to see the signed contract, sir. Because under. Uh, I'm uh, not going to. I need 20. In court, there has to be a contract to be upheld, any right, statute or jurisdiction, and I need. That's not how it works. That's not how any of this works. Uh, no. Uh, state laws are not contracts you, you sign into, they cover everybody that was within the state and resides within the state. Just try to go to any other country and pull this BS argument uh, out while you're driving on their roads. You won't make it that far. Or how about this? Uh, why don't you uh, travel your happy ass to North Korea where uh, driving is most certainly a privilege over there. In fact, before you even get behind the wheel of a car, you will go go into a uh, one-year training course and learn how to operate a car and uh, disassemble it to its base components and then put it back to together again, and then you will be able to drive. Let's just be thankful it's not that extreme in this country. Proof of the... Proof of the um, search and seizure right that you have against me, sir. That's correct. I do have insurance, but I... If you don't have insurance... No, I do. I do. I do have insurance. 621 Station 4. Can I get a 2729? Well, Jesse, you might ought to go ahead and show me all your stuff. May you're I get required your... by state law to have insurance. Well, I just need to make sure that I can get your full identification, sir. You're not getting, you already gave you all you're getting. 
Sir, the, I, I can't I prove you with any of. I, I don't see this right here. Sir, you just you just grabbed no, that from me, anything. sir. You just grabbed that from me. I did not give that to you, and under consent, I don't consent to any of your unlawful rights of uh, well, search and seizure, sir. You. With well, all due respect. Creekwood, where you live now, though? Uh, yes, sir. I just okay. changed. Okay, because your driver's license probably doesn't show that if you have one. You're going to be cited for. I don't consent. Registration, I don't consent. No driver's license. I don't consent. I don't consent. Unfortunately for you, you lead paint guzzling softard, your consent is not required to receive citations. If consent was required for citations, then everybody would opt out of them and then it'd become anarchy when people start running red lights and running into each other. I don't care what you consent. Okay. I really oh, I, I I really don't consent well, I to any of cooperation immensely. I Let's did see. not cooperate intensely, sir. As a matter of fact, that was under du duress. You were. I'm quite. I'm quite sorry that you were. What was your first name again, sir? I'm not giving you my first name. I'm not required by your law or my law to give you a first name. Do you understand the common law? Do you know what common law is, sir? You know, under the Supreme Court, if it's upheld, it uh, it it stands over the law of the Supreme Court upholds all the law. Uh, I've come to expect this out of you already, but that is a rather uneducated blanket statement right there. The Supreme Court uh, upholds all laws. Uh, no, they don't. And I don't want to have this come back to you or financially on your own family, sir. I don't want to have to uh, do anything in court to you, have this come back to you. You're not threatening me now, are you, Mr. I'm, I'm not threatening did you. you just not I'm, not, me? I'm not threatening you, sir. What did you say about my I'm, family? I'm, no, what did you I'm, say about I'm, my family? I'm warning you about this, this, this right of violation of my Fourth Amendment. That I could have it come back on you in court, and I don't, no, I don't want to have to have to do that, first. sir. No, sorry. That's exactly what I said. I have it on film. Okay, you don't have a license, need you? I don't need that. I'm not a driver, sir. I'm a traveler. Yeah. You understand that? Who's driving in the truck when you were traveling? There's no such. The driver is a a, a commerce action of of either trading within a. Uh, material or transporting another person which was not done and i'm a free citizen if you think we're in a free country i need a definition of freedom uh you need to get some new material uh i'm traveling not driving is just well an old tired debunked argument that never works especially in court appreciate you sir So I know you won't sign, so you want to sign this? Uh, Not a plea of guilt. I, I don't, I don't answer questions. That you will contact the court here in Arlington. You have 30 days from today. 30 days from today is September the 10th. You do understand the common law right to travel? Yeah, what's your birthday? I don't answer questions, sir. What's your birthday? I do not answer questions, sir. Probably gonna have to park it since you don't have a driver's license. I do have a driver's license. You don't have I, it on you. It's, uh, I do have it on me, and it's under duress. If I have to, if I'm forced. You're required by state law to show it when you're driving a vehicle. You can't. That's drive not. Your that's not state law. It. Under contract. Only under contract. No, it's, listen, having a driver's license is not a right. It's a privilege in this. So state. I have a privilege. So privilege I, to drive. It's so, not a right for you to. So drive. I must ask for the privilege. To, to drive. drive in this state. No, see, I'm obligated to ask. Is that what you're saying? I'm obligated to ask. It's a, it's a sovereign right. It's not a privilege, sir. It's not a privilege. It's a right. God-given, not under Freemason Satanists, but under God, the Father, under the God of Abraham, sir, Isaac, and Jacob, sir. Would you, I'm, not, I'm not here to listen to you preach, okay? I'm not. I, I, this I is the want, truth. I don't really want to. Okay. Do you know who the, who the Freemasons are, sir? Do you know they own your, your government? 627. I don't think you know how deep this is, sir. We're all in danger. 
I'm just gonna reach for uh, my book, sir. It's on the ground. I just want to let you know. Constitution. Okay, here I go. Grabbing it. Thank you. You know what, since you're there anyway, you might as well go ahead and try to read all seven articles which explain the structure of the government and uh, read all 27 amendments. I mean, every one of them are quite important. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Stell, you, you be sure that you contact the court now. Right. You have 30 days from right. today. Of the people to be, be secured in their, the in their persons, and houses, license. and unreasonable searches and seizures shall not here's be violated. Your, your copy. And right. no warrant right. shall be there. issued upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation. Well, now at this point, the officer has left him the citation and is walking away as the soft tart is reading from the uh, Constitution, but you know what? The officer is not going to put up with any more of this idiot's foolishness. Am I free to go, sir? Sir, am I free to go? No, sir, I actually have um, my insurance that you've seen. Am, am I? Sh uh, did you see that, sir? Sir, do you need, do you need the driver's license under duress? No, that's that's uh, it's unlawful search and seizure, sir. That's seizure. I will have this uh, in court, sir. Y'all just did this to me last uh, week. I have my paperwork, and this is illegal. Do you hear me? This is illegal. Okay, go back to the kitty table and play around with the crayons for a while longer, considering you don't have any idea of what is legal and what isn't legal. I mean, you don't even know the difference between the Constitution and the Declaration of Independence. It's illegal! I don't think you're hearing me, sir. This is illegal. It's illegal. You too. Thank you. And this is where, unfortunately, the video ends. And I have to disagree with the officer right here as to leaving him on the side of the road before the tow truck got there. Considering that these idiots will drive away with no issues whatsoever and get pulled over later on down the line. And as far as the soft hard goes, well, we can all see how poorly educated he is to begin with. I doubt he has learned anything from this traffic stop, considering that he said he's been pulled over other times for this. So I wonder how many times he's going to get pulled over before he actually learns that this is a road to nowhere. Probably never will. But at any rate, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.